Hello parents, welcome to our Q&A session on Facebook. In this video, we would like to welcome Dr. Shweta Bajaj, who is a certified lactation consultant. Welcome doctor. Hello. Dr. Shweta is a gold medalist and has completed her training from BPNI Delhi. She has also worked with Mother B as a lactation consultant and was on the panel of Medera earlier. She is also currently a member of Lalish Asia, an organization that aims to help provide help to moms who want to breastfeed. Dr. Bajaj is also a regular blogger on the topic and also conducts sessions on lactation for new moms. She conducts classes for new dads to help them understand how to help their partners when it comes to breastfeeding. So now let's take a look at the questions that we have received and get the answers to them. So doctor, our first question today is from Priya. She says, Whenever I'm feeding my baby, I feel a needle picking pain in my breast. It's so painful and nipples appear white. What should I do? Yeah, Priya, needle picking pain while you're breastfeeding. It is a classical sign of a fungal infection. Make sure that you check your baby's mouth also. If there are white lines in baby's lips and mouth, that means the baby also has an oral thrush infection. You need to consult a doctor and you can apply a candid oral paint over your breast nipples and over the baby's mouth. Okay, so hopefully Priya that answers your question. Uh, we move on to the next question which is from Sneha. She says that my baby had hand, foot and mouth disease. She is not taking my breastfeeding since the last 10 days. What should I do to bring her back to the breast? Yeah, uh, hand, foot and mouth disease. After the disease, the baby has stopped accepting your breast. Don't bring the breast to the baby only when you want to feed her. Let the baby play with the breast, observe the breast. Best is to be skin to skin with the baby. The more time you spend with your baby, the more easy and friendly the baby again will become with the breast. I advise you to have a bath with your baby. And let make the baby more comfortable with the breast. Let her pull and pinch, kiss over you. And slowly the baby will come back again to the breast. Okay. Our next question is by Roshni. She says, My son is 5 months old and I am breastfeeding him since the last 5 months. But since yesterday, my right breast has been appearing red and it's paining and it, there is a burning sensation. What do I do? Yeah, the pain in the breast which has suddenly occurred when the baby is 5 months old, it is a classical sign of mastitis or breast engorgement. It may be that the baby is not able to empty the breast completely. So what you need to do is have a warm bath, do some warm compressions over the bath. You can hand express some milk and you can even use a pump to express some milk. After some time, the breast will become less heavy and the redness will also go but still, if you feel that the redness is increasing or your pain is increasing, please consult your gynecologist and take proper medication for the same. Okay, thank you. Our next question is by Jeevana. She says, my baby boy is 5 months old. Recently, he started biting me very hard. I was doubtful and thought that he is not getting milk. But when I checked, the milk flow seems okay. I don't know why he is behaving like this and also I am not sure if my milk is sufficient for him. Please help me clarify. Yeah, as you said, the baby is around 5 months of age. During this time, the baby is even start teething. So these are initial symptoms of teething when the baby starts biting hard. What you can do is you can hand express some of your milk and put it in small ice cubes and make ice popples of milk. So before feeding the baby, just give your breast milk popsil. So they are hard and cold and the gums of the baby become soothed. So they will bite you less and have more frequent feeds from you. Okay. That's a very helpful insight doctor. Thank you. Our next question is by Priyanka. She says, my little one is 6 weeks old. My busts are on the heavier side. How do I lie down and feed? Yeah, for a heavier breast mother, it is easier to breastfeed when you are lying down. Or in a kneel down position so that the breasts are against the gravity and the flow of milk is under control. So what you can do is uh, you can lie down yourself comfortably. Make sure your neck and back is well supported. You can use pillows to rest yourself. And you can place the baby over yourself like this. Or you can have your husband or someone to assist and you can place the baby even like this. So in this way the milk flow will be in a proper manner 
and there won't be overflow and spillage of milk on the baby. Okay. Our next question is, uh, my baby is just three months old. Suggest when should I feed him? Should I maintain any gap and any suggestion for the food items which will help produce more feed for my baby? This is by Ashini. Yeah, Ashini, for a three months old baby, you need to feed on demand. The feed on demand for a three month year old, uh, three months old baby, even depends like if the baby is going into a growth spurt zone, the baby will demand frequent feeds. It can depend upon from half an hour to three hours of time. So there is no time that I can guarantee you that in this time only you have to feed. You must feed your baby on demand. And for eating, there are many Indian food substances which act as galactogogs. You can use sabudana, dalia, bhunawa, jeera, gur, khichdi. These all things along with milk, they boost to enhance the milk supply of the mother. Okay. So plenty of foods to choose from. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Our next question is by Harsha. She says, how do I know that my baby's stomach is full and if she's latching correctly? She latches but there are spills from the side of her mouth. Harsha, first your question is that how do you know that your baby is getting enough feed? For that, you need to count the number of diapers the baby is wetting in a day. A baby who is on a mother's feed should wet at least 5 to 6 diapers. That is the urine output of the baby. And it should be diluted and not of a strong, strong smell. Secondly, your pediatrician is the best guide to tell you whether the baby is getting enough of feed or not. Whenever you are going for your regular checkups and for the vaccinations, the weight monitoring of the baby is being observed and that is the pure guide to know that the baby is gaining weight. A completely breastfeed baby should gain around 700 to 1000 grams per month. Second question is that uh, whether you, your baby is latching properly or not. So to know that she is latching properly or not, there are four signs which you must see. One, that the baby should be at the equal level of your level. That is Siddha, Sameep, Samne, Saman. It is easier to understand and make sure that the ear of the baby, the shoulder and the buttocks are in one line. Kandha, Kula or Kaan. Ek seed mein hone chahiye bachche ke. So when you are holding the baby, make sure the baby is towards you. The face of the baby is turned towards you. The tummy of the baby should touch the tummy of mother. And when you are latching, the baby should come from below towards your breast. Make sure the baby opens a wide mouth. And you put the larger part of your breast inside the baby's mouth and not just the nipple. And when the baby suckles, you must make sure that the chin of the baby is touching your breast and the areola, the blacker portion of your breast is visible more on the upper side and less on the lower side. If you follow all these things, there won't be any spillage of milk. Okay. Our next question is by Reshbi. She asks, does oiling my hair every day increase milk production in my body or is it just an old wife's tale? In a way, it's an old wife's tale but uh, actually we can say that yes, it is also helping because after oiling of your hair, if you are feeling relaxed, a relaxed mother will have more of oxytocin release and more oxytocin will let down more milk. Okay, so as long as the mother is relaxed and happy, that yes. will result in more milk. Okay. Um, our next question is by Rakesh. He asks, my wife just delivered a baby via C-section. She gets too tired and baby cries after feeding. How can I burp and ease my baby? Yeah, Rakesh, since your baby, uh, wife has delivered a baby through C-sex, she needs more tender love and care, more attention and more family support from you. What you can do to ease your baby is, it is not necessary that all babies make a sound to burp. What is more important is after every feed, you make sure that you carry the baby in an upright position and hold him properly for at least 10 to 15 minutes and gently tap the back of the baby. It is not necessary that the baby will make a sound. Some babies even burp silently and you can even hold the baby in this position like this. Make sure that the neck of the baby is supported by your hands and there is some gentle pressure on the tummy of the baby and your, your caretaker or you or your wife can gently massage the baby and give some tummy time to the baby to ease the burping. Okay. I hope Rakesh that answers your question. Our next question is by Shalini. She says, my baby gets restless whenever I change my breast too soon. Is it okay? And how do I know when to offer which breast? 
शालिनी नो इट्स नॉट ओके टू चेंज योर ब्रेस फ्रीक्वेंटली मेक श्योर दैट यू कंप्लीटली ब्रेस फीड योर बेबी फ्रॉम वन साइड एंड ओनली देन यू चेंज द साइड सो वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन यू फ्रीक्वेंटली चेंज योर ब्रेस्ट द बेबी इज गेटिंग ओनली दी फोर मिल्क विच इज दी वॉटरी मिल्क विच इज फर्स्ट फॉर्म इन दी ब्रेस्ट सो द बेबी विल नेवर गेट द रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट ऑफ हाइंड मिल्क विच इज गोइंग टू डेवलप एंड इंक्रीज हिज वेट सो द मिल्क विच इज कमिंग लेटर ऑन दैट इज लिटिल मोर थिकर एंड मोर गुड इन कंसिस्टेंसी इट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द वे दैट विल कम ओनली इफ यू ब्रेस्ट फीड कंप्लीटली फ्रॉम वन वन ब्रेस्ट so i advise you to offer one breast at one time and if the baby is feeding for more than half an hour then after 25 minutes you can switch to the other breast okay but generally try to stick to one breast for one feeding yes, session yes so that the baby gets the four and the hind milk together okay our next question is by prisha she also asks how to know if my baby is latched properly I yeah prisha the latch question i have just answered make sure of four things that the baby is near to you the baby's stomach is touching your stomach and the baby's face is towards your face and there are four things which you have to note down the baby should open a big mouth the baby's chin should touch your areola and the areola part should be more visible of the upper part than the lower part then the baby can easily latch and breastfeed Our next question is by Priya. She says, "My baby is losing her latch. In the first two months, she was latched properly. However, in the third month, she is latching and making sounds and losing her grip, and also swallowing air and choking, which is making her uncomfortable. And that's why she is unable to feed and she starts crying. I always give her milk in cross cradle position and on the bed at night." Okay, since your baby was latching properly for two months and now unlatching, even during uh, around three months of age, some babies even enter a growth spurt age. So if that is the condition, then don't lose hope. Within few days, the baby will come back to the normal stage. In this growing growth spurt, the babies become more cranky. They require, they want the mother to be near them. Okay. So for that, they frequently demand for more feeding. so that must be the case that is why you are feeling that i am not able to feed her properly and she is not latching you can again check your latch and feeding i am sure it is a growth spurt and it will go down soon okay well priya that's your answer and uh, our next question says that is it fine um if how do i know that if i am producing enough breast milk how does a mother find out okay so there is no hard and fast rule by which a mother can find out that really she is making good amount of milk or not but there are two things by which you can come to know make sure you count the wet diapers of the baby if a breastfeeding baby is on mother's milk completely and is wetting more than 6 to 7 diapers in a day that's a good sign that the baby is getting enough of milk and secondly whenever you go for your vaccination and regular checkups with your pediatrician the weight monitoring of the baby make sure that the baby is getting enough weight and enough breast milk okay so pasna i hope that answers your question the next one says that my baby drinks only 70% formula and 30% breast milk because of a c section i was unable to produce milk initially and so the doctor advised baby formula i have flat nipples and hence the baby too has latching issues now i feel that while i may be producing moderate amount of milk the baby has grown to prefer bottle feed and even refuses breast feed often see the flat nipple condition is not at all a barrier for feeding any breast anatomy of any mother can easily make and feed the baby normally so what you can do first to treat your flat nipples is you can take a 20 ml syringe cut the upper portion and put the barrel against it in the opposite direction and first make sure to place it in your hand and you check that which pressure is pulling your skin out at this pressure you apply it on your nipples and just gently do it one or two times pull it outwards the pressed nipple will come out so the baby will easily be able to latch it second problem is that the baby has gone on an easier mode of drinking the milk through a bottle so now what happens is whenever you place a bottle the baby doesn't have to do more of the mechanism so everybody wants easy food whether it is a baby or a adult so gradually i'll not tell you that in one day you just cut off the formula milk and bring him back to the breast it is not going to help you 
gradually what you can do is instead of formula for one day one meal you remove the formula and then give him offer him your breast then second time you offer him the formula bottle but for a lesser duration and then offer the breast so gradually you both can mutually come to a conclusion and totally your baby can come back to the breast okay so our next question is by dharanya she says my Two month old baby has decreased the breastfeed timing from 25 minutes to 5 minutes per session suddenly in the past one week. From birth my baby used to breastfeed for 15 to 25 minutes each session but now the, it has gone down and the timing is 5 minutes. I am worried that my breast feels fuller than before and he is showing no interest in feeding nowadays. Please tell me a solution. See if the baby is gaining proper weight and he is active that means there is no hard and fast rule that baby has to feed for 25 minutes or 30 minutes. Anywhere the breastfeeding duration between 5 minutes to 20 minutes is considered as a normal breastfeeding duration. Some babies even become more active. Their latching and suckling power is more. So if your baby has a good strong suckling power, he can suckle the same amount of milk even in 5 minutes to fulfill his tummy. So you don't have to worry about it. Secondly, for if you are feeling that your breast is still empty you must hand express the milk and don't throw it you can use it for bathing your baby okay well i hope that answers your question our next question is by shatabdi she says that my baby is four months old i had a tough time with my breast milk supply for the initial two months but i did not lose hope and kept feeding him that meant frequent feedings tired and exhausted body today when i breastfeed him after say about a 30 minute session he is relaxed and in a good mood for the next couple of hours. What does it mean? Is my supply enough for him? Yes, it definitely means that a happy baby who is not troubling you for less than for quite a few hours. That means the baby is happy and contented and your breast milk is doing the wonderful job. Okay. We'll move on to our next question. This is by Mandira. She asks, how can I avoid colic while breastfeeding? Colic usually happens when babies engulf air. It can be during breastfeeding or during crying. So what you can do is while breastfeeding if the baby is getting colicky, you must make sure that the latch of the baby is proper. Secondly, if it is during crying, when even the babies cry so loud, they engulf some air in their tummies. So you must make sure you give a good baby massage and give some tummy time to the baby. And I had shown earlier also that holding the baby in this position Making him sit like this also eases the colic of the baby. Okay. And you can burp the baby. After every feed, burp the baby so the colic will get eased. Okay. Our next question is by Anu. She says, how can I tell if my baby is getting enough milk? Yeah, how can I tell the baby is getting enough milk? It is a question which every new mother yeah. wants to know. There are two things which you need to keep in mind. Make sure you count the number of wet diapers. A baby who is completely on mother's milk should wet at least 6 to 7 diapers in a day. And next is the weight monitoring. Whenever you go to your pediatrician, the weight monitoring will be done and the doctor will advise you whether the baby is gaining good amount of weight or not. Okay. So watch out for the signs. Our next question is by Radhika. She says, what causes leaking and how do I stop it? Radhika, leakage from the breast is very common during the initial days. When the demand and supply rule is not yet established by the mother's body. So the body still has not got the correct signal of how much amount of milk has to be made. So if the leakage is at that time, you can use a breast pad. But if you are facing the leakage problem when you are feeding from one breast and the other breast is leaking, then that will also get controlled in few days. Then the second type of leakage happens when you are away from the baby. For few hours you have to go or travel somewhere, baby is not around, you are not able to feed. Even at that time leakage can happen. It is best to use breast pads at that time. And if you are at home, you can use cold cabbage leaves. You can cut cabbage leaves, place them in the freezer and then you can apply it with your bra. Even that will soothe and ease the leakage. Okay, that's a home remedy right there. Uh, Tina asks, is there a special diet that should be followed while breastfeeding? Yeah, Tina, a breastfeeding mother should take at least 1500 or 1700 to 2000 cal kilocalories per day. And you must include dairy products, take good amount of proteins, make sure you take 3 katoris of vegetable, dahi, raita and dal. 
and you must include nuts also and dry fruits in your diet okay sonali asks how frequently should i feed my baby see sonali in the initial few days that is around 10 to 20 days after delivery you must feed every 2 to 3 hourly and then once the baby demands the initial frequent feeding is advised so that the mother's body makes a established feed for the baby once the speed is established then you can feed on demand okay we'll move on to our next question this is by neelu she asks how does position affect breastfeeding neelu position of the mother and the baby both are important for breastfeeding it is not a day thing it is a thing that you have to continue for 2 years and at least for 6 months so if you are not comfortable you won't be able to feed your baby for a longer duration so first of all make sure that you are at a comfortable position always make sure that your neck and back is well supported and in a straight direction then you must make sure that the baby is close to you don't lean over the baby as it is it is so hot and the baby gets so restless so make sure you bring the baby to your level you can use uh, pillows below your hand to support and the baby should come at your level some mothers cup put on putting their pressure and weight on the baby that is not advisable with this your neck will also get strain and your shoulders and back will also pay baby will get too restless and leave you and refuse to latch so it is better you sit in a comfortable position bring the baby towards you and there are many positions in which you can breastfeed your baby it is a cradle position you can feed in cross cradle position even in a football hold a football hold you can feed your babies like this if you have twins you can bring both the babies together at a time latch them and feed them properly so it is very important to make sure that the position of the baby and mother are comfortable okay so a comfortable position means a better feeding session yes. for the baby a happier mother the more happier the baby of course our next question is by sukmani she asks till what age should i breastfeed my baby sukmani according to who you must exclusively breastfeed your baby till 6 months and continue with complementary feeding till the age of 2 years but nowadays we advise till the mother and the baby is comfortable in breastfeeding they can continue to breastfeed okay. there is no age restriction to it and i hope that answers your question uh, we have sunita here who asks should i not feed baby when i'm sick no sunita until unless there is some special reason of your sickness for which your doctor has recommended to stop breastfeeding otherwise there is no such reason that you must stop breastfeeding your child or rather i would advise you must continue breastfeeding because the day when you got the infection and the day when the symptom appeared in your body till then also you breastfeeded your body you have already passed the infection to the baby and now when the time to get the antibodies from your milk to fight against the infection is going to help your child and you stop breastfeeding the child's symptom will increase and get worse so it is a very good to breastfeed even if you are sick or the baby is sick you must continue breastfeeding okay our next question is from komal she asks is pumping the milk a good idea yeah pumping is a good idea komal but only if you are not at home or the baby is refusing to latch or you are joining back and you have someone to take care you can pump and store your milk and always make sure that the caretaker knows how to uh, boil or warm the milk and give it to the baby okay so it's safe to boil the no it is not safe to boil the milk what we actually advise is if you have stored the milk in the freezer or in the fridge make sure you bring it out keep okay. it at a room temperature so that it becomes normal for the baby to drink okay. so you need need to take it out 4 to 5 hours prior to giving it to the baby okay our next question is by preeti she asks is it safe to be on birth control during breastfeeding yes preeti uh, breastfeeding amenorrhea is a different kind of a thing it helps you through uh, not getting pregnant but only if you are exclusively breastfeeding and you are not back on your periods but it is not a 100% guaranteed method it is successful only 98 to 99% it is always advisable to be on a different kind of a uh, conception uh, method and you can ask your doctor about various methods of contraception okay so our last question for the session today is by shreya she asks can baby's tool help me understand if baby is getting proper feed 
See, Shreya's tool we cannot consider as it as a uh, confirmed method of determining the feed because sometimes baby can have diarrhea, sometimes baby can have constipation. So it is better you focus on the urine output of the baby to determining the amount of feed the baby is getting. Okay. So with that, our session today comes to an end. We hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from our session, and we would like to thank Dr. Shweta for her time. Before we sign off. We would also like to thank her for sharing her knowledge and expertise with us on this subject. Hope you enjoyed the session and we'll see you at the next one.